In today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire designer jewelry collection. That includes all my costume jewelry, my brooches, some fine jewelry, and a lot of Chanel, obviously, because I'm a big, big fan of Chanel jewelry. By the way, if you're curious, I don't really have a special way of storing my jewelry. I have a good collection, but they're just enough to fit in these kind of boxes. So this is kind of like a jewelry box that I have that I um, put everything in and it's not really in order or anything as you can see they're kind of scattered around the inside of these boxes but it is velvet lined I'm gonna try my best to show you some close-ups and also try it on maybe on this year to show you each item I also want to thank today's video sponsor Italo Jewelry this is the packaging where the item came in magnetic outside box with a bunch of paperwork there's also a silver polishing cloth they've also included this pair of earrings this is the box that the item came in i actually chose a ring which i am wearing on this hand i chose this ring because it really reminded me of the Cartier ring but it is not uh, obviously as you can see it is actually half cut it's definitely inspired from their nail design so this ring right here is a lot more affordable it is made of solid silver and plated in gold which will prevent it from tarnishing i've already washed my hands with this ring on so many times and it's perfectly fine i was really curious to see how the italo version would look because it's close but not really close but the vibe is there here's a little thank you note and it also tells you that they've included the pair of earrings as a little gift there's also their jewelry care guide here oh this is cool i did not know that they included a sterling silver certificate for this item it also has this one year warranty card there's a return policy or exchange card here finally there's silver polishing cloth which you can use to polish the jewelry they've included a pair of stud earrings and they are pretty large size crystals on a 925 backing it's a nice pair of statement diamond looking earrings but obviously these are just crystals they're not diamonds but they're really large in size all right in no particular order i'm just gonna go through maybe from the smallest item to the largest items i'm a huge lover of chanel costume jewelry i've started collecting them like in 2016 i think so it's been a few years and i have a healthy collection and a lot of them are earrings if i remember correctly these are my very first pair of earrings and they are very very small they are the classic cc's i bought these ones in hawaii i chose these ones in champagne gold color because there was also the silver version but the silver version was a little dull when i put it against my ears i don't know maybe it's something about my skin tone it just pops a little bit more with the champagne gold color in my case or at least for these pair of earrings so that's how they look like so these are the second pair of studs they are slightly larger how they compare to the previous pair they are double the size and the reason why i wanted to get this pair was because these were silver and then i also realized that i sometimes like to have my cc's less demure a little bit more out there but still very wearable so as you can see you can notice them a little bit more but they're not so in your face still still very very nice and just a really really nice size these next pair of cc's are a little bit bigger the stones on these ones actually shine a bit brighter the color of the hardware is actually champagne gold but you can't even tell because there's so many shiny stones on these and the size of it is a bit larger so as you can see on my ears you really do notice them right now like you're not just maybe noticing them you're actually noticing them because they are a lot larger and they're just really really gorgeous so another pair of my favorite chanel earrings that i ever bought are these pearly detailed ones so very similar size to this CC. I particularly love wearing these when I uh, am wearing other pearl items. It's just another vibe. You can still notice it quite well, but it's just another more kind of grown up pearl details. So moving on to the other pearl earring that I have, but this time is from 
Dior. It is their beautiful tribal earrings. I tend to wear my Dior earrings very seldomly because their post is a lot larger. As you can see, they are really, really pretty and they definitely stand out, but still very um, demure. And I like how classic they are. The tribal earrings are known for how classic they are. And I like a good pearl earrings. It's just that they're not the most comfortable. The next pair of pearl earrings that I have are these dangly ones from Chanel. These were a seasonal ones and then they made it into a permanent classic. So you're definitely able to find it again in store. The CC on this one is still bigger than my very first pair of classic CC studs. So just really, really pretty. And, um, you know, if you have long hair or if you just like your longer dangly earrings, you'll probably like these ones. So yeah, as you can see, they do stand out a little bit, but they're not too in your face either. It's still really, really demure. Up next, we have these very famous age gold CC dangly ones that were all the rage and became super, super in demand once they stopped the production of these ones. These used to be a permanent style. Chanel just one day decided to stop making them. I don't really remember which year exactly that they stopped making them, maybe 2018. And that's when the price of these in the resale market skyrocketed. I'm super glad that I bought them when I saw them the first time. And that is something that I learned over time with Chanel is that once it's gone, it's usually gone, especially if you only have the one store in your area. And unless you're willing to find it again with a personal shopper, which obviously means that you have to pay a premium, there's just something about these earrings that fine jewelry cannot quite give you. And these Chanel ones, the logo ones, uh, are similar size, but they are wider. They stand out, but they also are very elegant and just kind of under the radar if you don't notice them but if you notice them they they look absolutely stunning because they have more width and they crawl on your ears or at least that's the impression that they give you they are just so like beautiful and stunning and uh, there was no way i was gonna miss out on these ones so let's move on to these other pairs which are quite new in my collection they were from last year's seasonal collection and look at how beautifully shiny they are. So this one is more of a vintage matte gold. This one is a vintage, very yellow, shiny gold. They're stunning. There's no way you're gonna miss these if they're on my ears, especially on both sides and if I didn't have hair hiding them. But these are just absolutely a different vibe. I feel like these are the perfect earrings to wear when you're wearing just like a big sweatshirt or just something super, super casual. This next pair is also very, very vintage yellow gold. It's slightly matter than this and it's long instead of wide and it also is super, super statement because of its size and of its color. I love a good pair of long earrings. I also love my studs, but I definitely am very much in love with longer, very drapey earrings. And the fact that they're costume makes it more fashionable and just um, more dressy than wearing your fine jewelry. I'm not dissing fine jewelry here, but I just, there's just something about costume jewelry that I love a lot is because they are just different. Oh, another pair of logo earrings. These are the Chanel ones that came out in spring, summer 2019. This was one of my favorite collection in terms of uh, costume jewelry that was very va va voom. These Chanel logo ones are just a champagne gold, very shiny and slightly shorter and they're actually asymmetrical because the sha is shorter than the nail. So you would think that these are pretty hard to pull off, but they aren't at all. I feel like because they're champagne gold, they look more silver than gold. So it's a little easier to pair with casual outfits. And they're not as long as you thought they were because as you can see, they were actually even shorter than these ones. They were very expensive though. Like this is probably one of the collections that 
really kind of started skyrocketing the price of costume jewelry. I've actually had to use a personal shopper to find these ones for myself because they were sold out instantly and impossible to get. But they have also since made them into a permanent classic. So once in a while, they will pop up in your store. So just keep an eye open if you want them. I absolutely love these earrings. They just are so stunning. Very lightweight. They do scratch easily. So when you store them, don't put them side by side. Or if you bring them to travel in that same season, they also came out with these ones. These ones were also in the runway. And these are large. These are very, very statement. It's night and day. These ones are huge, wide and long. I love these very, very much, but I love these even more because they are so extra. Personally speaking, these were the ones that really made me fall in love with the Chanel logo earrings because they are just so extra and so statement. However, I don't care because I love them so much. Long earrings also suit me very, very well, which is the reason why they are one of my favorite things to get. Uh, so yeah, these are probably my most expensive pair. These ones I did have to pay a premium because I had to get them through a personal shopper. I also wanted these to be clip-ons. Surprisingly for the size, these are not super heavy. They are still on the heavier side because of its size. Uh, so you will still be tired after a few hours of wear. But uh, because mine is also clip-on, I can still wear them for maybe like four or five hours, but then I do get tired and I do want to get them off of my ears. But I mean, they're just so stunning. I mean, look at them, they're just so so beautiful let's move on to my other costume jewelry one of which you'll probably see me wear all the time on my channel is this graduated pearl bracelet there's about two inches extra of adjustment that you can make but i just wear it on the absolute smallest setting and i love the fact that these are graduated they always look so good on my wrists and I also love wearing my pearl ring uh, to pair with this. Pearls are just so classic. You can pair them with anything. It's just the same as like your gold or silver. Another piece of fashion jewelry that I just very recently added is from Hermes. So this is the CDC 24. So it's the smaller uh, CDC in 24 millimeter. This one is in black Epsom and palladium hardware. The vibe is totally different. This one is like way more cool and just like rocker chic and uh, probably suits a lot of very casual, uh, just very simple t-shirt look, but you elevate it with something like this. In terms of brooches, I have three and I recently just sold one. Uh, so these are the only two CC ones that I have remaining in my collection. I decided to just keep the smallest brooches in my collection. So as you can see, this one is tiny, tiny like this. I love having a little tiny one like this, but mind you, this one is one of the more expensive one. In fact, I think this was the most expensive one, even though it's tiny. But I love having this tiny one because it looks great on a very lightweight t-shirt and um, actually it looks good in everything. This one, however, is in a matte champagne gold and it's actually a little bit bigger. So as you can see, the size is um, a size up, but this is also really cute. It's still kind of not too big and it's still really cute on t-shirts or in anything that you put on. I don't wear my brooches a lot, which is why I only have three brooches and I don't really buy any more. Uh, because I don't tend to wear them very often but uh, they are really beautiful though and as you can see my last brooch is slightly bigger but it's a lot different because it's actually made of leather and champagne gold hardware. This one gives a totally different vibe and it's almost like a little crest. It's actually really really pretty and this one just looks great on a lot of the blazers and coats uh, or just black and white outfits because it's a black lamb skin. It actually just pops and looks really, really nice against a black and white outfit. They're quite different, but I tend to prefer the smaller sizes one because I do have a smaller frame anyway. So this is my only long pearl necklace that I have from Chanel. It does have this beautiful logo and then uh, just sort of like graduated pearls throughout the chain. It looks really beautiful when you're wearing a simple blouse and draping this over. Uh, today, I think my 
my uh, sweater is already quite blinged out on its own. It already has a lot of details, so I don't really need an extra a necklace, but uh, this is just an easy way to throw on to make you look like you put in a lot more effort than you did But all you did was just put on some jewelry. You can also double it up like this The other two necklaces that I have from Chanel are actually pendant necklaces one has a smaller CC pendant with a round a uh, little crystal detail and the other one is just a silver bigger CC just very simple This one is a classic. This one was a seasonal piece uh, this one in champagne gold and this one in sort of like an aged silver. I love these pendants because they're actually adjustable. So you can wear it on the longest setting like this. Usually I just throw it over my head. Or you can actually wear it on the shorter setting, which is a lot shorter. I think it becomes like kind of like 16, 16 inches long or something like that so it will sit a lot higher on your neck. Here's a close-up of the pendant themselves. You can see on the shorter setting, it looks like this. And it's just a beautiful detail. Actually, I really like it like this. Um, so yeah, they're both really gorgeous, just different looks. And it's not like you really need that many of these pendant necklaces from Chanel. Once you find one that um, kind of goes with everything, that you have in your wardrobe it really is such an easy way to like throw it on and just jazz up your outfit and similarly my lv initials necklace does exactly the same thing this one i tend to just wear on the longest setting and it does the same trick as these chanel cc ones you know they're almost the same length really easy to just throw these on so the a initial is a little bit more uh, elegant and just like kind of like you know not too in your face i also have this piece of sterling silver pendant from louis vuitton this is their locket pendant this one is a little shorter so you do have to adjust it from the class which is one of the reasons why i don't wear it super often but it's a really really nice pendant look at it if you have a simple shirt and wear this underneath you might notice it you might not but it's just something really uh, really nice and elegant. Yeah, I almost forgot I have two more pairs of earrings that I did not show you guys But the reason is because I'm actually trying to sell these these are Dior earrings and I like I mentioned earlier Dior earrings are just uncomfortable for me because of the post it is thicker and I I just don't enjoy it very much I am keeping the tribal because of how classic they are and because they're pearls. But I am selling my Jadzia ones. So these ones are so pretty. They are such a statement, ear jacket, but they're not comfortable for me. And if you don't have a problem with uh, wearing earrings that have a thicker post, which I know a lot of people are totally fine. They don't even understand what I'm talking about probably, then these will suit you but I have since realized that Dior earrings have such a thick post uh, for my ears that I stopped buying Dior earrings altogether. And these ones are just the plain gold, slightly smaller, also ear jackets, and they're just slightly smaller size. This one has CD instead of a star. So anyone who is interested in buying these off of me, do let me know, just email me. There's just something about costume jewelry that really elevates the look and is really my vibe. I just really love that my jewelry shines through so my outfit can be either a bit more simple and I let the jewelry do the talking. Obviously, I also love fine jewelry and I actually have a lot of fine jewelry that are not designer. It's possible that it will grow towards that direction because even the costume jewelry are getting very, very expensive now. And I do have quite a healthy collection already in terms of styling. I have a bit of everything that I can you know, wear on almost any occasion possible. Let me know which one is your favorite and let me know if you're a fine jewelry person or a costume jewelry person. I know a lot of people feel like costume jewelry is not worth it. Totally understand that, but I just love costume jewelry so much and I actually wear them. So for me, it's actually worth it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe if you love this type of content and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.